Hi everyone, welcome back to another F1 video and we're continuing our Lewis Hamilton uh, championship to try and get him uh, the, the title and we're going to jump in and we're going to see hopefully, touch wood, that our uh, championship's going to be able to continue. So I go to Grand Prix, there it is, brilliant, so we've got our last race that we won, that was in Austria, oh no sorry, uh, Canada and now we are going to Austria now, so click on that and that should put us in, brilliant, so all that moaning that I was in a few races ago it looks like you can actually do a championship with your favourite driver Welcome to Spielberg for another exciting Formula One race. This circuit is renowned for its backdrop, surrounded by natural beauty, and it certainly is an idyllic destination for the Austrian Grand Prix Thank you Ted No, Ted Kravitz? No, what's his name? I've got his name oh, anyway. uh, Right, so I think we were in 10th because we came into it on the last race, didn't we? Had a quick look. So we should... Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Stroll, Norris, Russell, Sainz. All right, so last in 10th. Yeah, there we are. Okay, who we got behind us? I've caught an album. Okay, fine. Right, get our set up on the car. Another big thing. So I don't know if you've been watching any of my. Uh, Grand Turismo videos, but I've gone uh, using the manual gears now, and I'm using the manual gears on this. So I've done a few practice laps in time trial, so but I've not actually done a proper race using the gear. So let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, I think that should be it. Uh, we've got a race strategy on. Oh, hold on, tyres. Got to look at that. Uh, so what was it saying? Default softs and then mediums. Hmm. Do we? What does mediums and softs look like? Uh, hold on, come back to that. Edit that. Next stint, go to softs. Oh. Right, there they are. Oh, it's just, it's even worse. So, hold on. If we went 14, 13, 14. Let's do that one. Go back. It's looking, oh, pretty identical, isn't it, time-wise? But we'll have better tyres in the last stint, a lighter car. I think we'll go with that, I think. Select that. Should we go with that? Yeah, let's go with that. Plus, it, plus that'll give us some free air. Because we're using manual gears now. So, alright. Back from that. Okay. Start the race. Okay. Hi, good start. Good start. Can we all sneak up in here? Who's that? Norris. Try and get Norris. Is my rev counter broken? There's no green bit at the beginning. Is it, was it green? I can't remember. Alright, I can't get my head in this. So I've got it on, so it's suggested gears. So I can't like, tell you what gear you need to be in for each corner, which is a good help. Alright, so I just need to try and keep up with these. Because they've all got softs on the front by the looks of it. One who's out in the lead. Oh, alright, no. I'm not dealing with that. I'm giving myself a bit of a break. Go down the inside, he said. Nice little move around the inside. Max and Piastri. Can we drag Piastri down? Got the outside line. Is he going to take the inside line? He is, I'm going to nip on the inside. Take that, thank you. 
So who's that? Is it uh, Russell? One thing I am finding is that when I started using gears, I was getting, it's like, it's like drumming, you know, you're doing two things at once, but, and the, the big thing was I found out I was braking too much. Oh, there's something wrong with the gears. Look, now I've got one green light solidly on. What's that all about? Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake, use overtake. Okay. okay yeah, we do need to try and get past Max. Be. Nice, take Max up on the inside. So that's Alonso. Okay. See if we can make some ground to Alonso. What is it, 2.2 out in front? Okay, right, so we'll do a time check. Okay, 2.1 to Alonso. He, he's putting the one to start using the ARS, I think. Uh, we are cashing with the IRS, which is good. Yeah, you have to concentrate so much when you're using the gears now. Every every lap, every corner. But it's almost like you need to get into a routine with the gears. So, you know, no, knowing what gear you're coming up to really helps. But the hardest bit is going down to like from eighth now all the way down to second. Coming down six gears. And what you don't want to do is overshoot. So you don't want to go down in the first. some turns I know that like two downshifts like so this next turn in seventh gear so I need to come down to one which is good so I just concentrate on the braking the next one is two downshifts and then concentrate on the uh, on the braking and the next one we're going down into fourth so I do two and two one two one two I shifted too early then. But yeah, this next one. So we've got to go down six gears. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting there. But the good thing is, I mean, I'd say I've not lowered the difficulty at all. Letting go. I don't want to. Yeah, what we do need to do is uh, would be nice to drop Max, get him out of DRS range. Of 
Oh, do I go fit hit here? No. Nah. Problem is though. Oh no, Max! Come on! Oh, why did he do that? Come on, the the AI needs to be a lot smarter than this. Oh, I'll go around the outside of you, Alonso. Right. All right, now we can concentrate on the race. Oh, too deep. That corner, I need a lot of practice on. Is my shift lights broken completely? Oh no, there they are. <laughs> Someone needs to radio in that my shift lights aren't working properly. That's interesting, and I've got no shift lights on my steering wheel. Oh, so I have. Alright. Oh well. Well, I didn't think this would happen. Oh, oh well, Max has got in front of uh, Alonso. But I've not done like a massive amount of practice with the gears. I've done a few. I was able to beat my time trial time on this on this track using manual gears, which is good. If we're able to pull a gap like this, we have to make it more difficult. Oh, what are we on? Lap eight, uh, nine, sorry. So what was the lap 14 I think we were going to be pitting? Our tyres. Okay, so we're coming up to the... So if we do start, to, if the back end starts to go and we're coming out of corners, see now we can short shift to try and... To try and counter that. Oh, that was a horrible turn. Talking and racing, <laughs> well, I mean, like, as in changing gears, very taxing. We should get a full race update. <laughs> How do I do that? You're in first position, front of the pack. Verstappen behind you now. Okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind. 3.6 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. You've got four laps until your pit window opens. All right, 16 laps to go. Ooh. What I have found is now that we're using gears, the Fanatec uh, Grand Turismo steering wheel could have been a bit better designed layout wise because there's nothing really by your thumbs which when you're changing gears you need obviously fingers on the gears the whole time so you need to be able to get be in close reach for everything so, what I'm hoping, I think I might, might I really want to get the McLaren GT3 wheel because that wheel looks obviously set up a lot better. If 
plus it's got the extra paddles at the bottom. So one would be brilliant for clutch, and the other one could be like for ERS. Which would be ideal. We've got Christmas coming up around the corner. That was interesting. So when I was doing time trial, it said for that corner to be fifth. Then it just said fourth. Okay, so Alonso's in the pits. So he's getting rid of those softs. They're going to mediums, I'm assuming. Okay, so we're in the 30s on the rears. So we'll be put in in two laps time. I'm guessing Max is going to pit this lap. Yeah, there he is he's in the pits. We obviously see that Norris in the pits. We'll do one more and then we'll be in. Really important that turn there to get that braking done before the turn. This is kind of like the perfect track to start learning gears on. It's relatively small. And it's got, well, it's got one major, like, high to low. That one there, you're going halfway down. Oh. All right, pitting this slap. Yeah, I think, yeah, so if you're trying to learn gears, this is the perfect track, I think. George is in the pits. He's in the pits now. Oh, we've got an engine problem. Was that me over-revving it? No, it looks okay. Okay, George is in the pits. Okay, the engine light stops flashing, which is good. All right. Oh, there we go. Right, first stint done manually. That was good. I enjoyed that. And we're not terrible. Okay, where's it going to put us? Okay. Ten laps to go now. Here comes Max around that last corner. Looks like we hopefully should. Should be okay. What are we? Four seconds in front of him. 
Lovely. And they're all on mediums. Oh, I'm going to cast up. The other thing we've got yet to do is try and do a fast lap. But like I said, my, where I've got my overtake button, it's not in the ideal place. For, uh, I have to take my hand completely away off the wheel. Okay, go for a fast slow now. I could leave the RS on, but a RS on. But I don't want to. Okay, let's try and beat that. I've done the fastest first sector, which is good. No! Okay. Right, what are we doing? 106, there you go, back of the net. That should be it. Whew. Oh, shifted too early. What are we on? 6.6 to max. Okay, so I've got a big gap to Max, and Max has got a massive gap to Alonso. Gap to your Yeah, so my advice, if you've got a steering wheel and you're playing driving games, go manual. And if you play like games like Gran Turismo, start there. That's what I did. And uh, because you're changing gears, it's a lot slower. Formula One, you're changing gears so fast. And the other thing is, it's getting used to paddle shifting because obviously it's different to a gearbox. Especially if you've learned to drive, you learn to drive with a gearbox. And if you're, well, some people do automatic as well, but generally you, you don't change gear in an automatic car. But, uh, But yeah, it's a lot of fun.
And I haven't completely wrecked my tyres, which is good. Eighteen percent, five laps to go. I think we're looking all right. Put in a comfortable lead to Max. Well, I think in all the races we've done so far in this series. This is the biggest gap we've had. Okay. But yeah, practice. I think that's all it comes down to. So what I'm going to do before every, like, so during this championship that we're doing with Lewis, what's the next race? I think it's, it's England, isn't it? Great, yeah. So I'll just spend a little bit of time on the time trial. That's got a really fast circuit, Silverstone. So I just got to get to know that track properly with the gears. I think my gut, my aim is to beat my existing, whatever my time trial set it is in, not in auto. That's my aim is to beat it using manual gears. So far, I've done Vegas and I've done this track and I've beaten both my automatic times, which is good, which is good. And then my next aim, <laughs> after all of that, uh, well, not so much going through smoke because I'm running really with really low traction control on that anyway, so that's not a problem. But on here, it's to slowly turn traction control off because you can go to moderate, like medium, and then you can go off. Alright, just feeling the back now on that last corner. Starting to go. A couple more laps. Loads of time. I wonder where he is. I'm George. But also, we're changing manually. I think you can get the car slowed down quicker. So you're not waiting, like when you're in auto, not waiting for the revs to dictate when to change gear. Right there, you just bang it straight into fifth where normally you'd be braking, the revs would change, change down the gear. And then yeah, you're waiting on, on that.
It just adds to the whole immersion and all, all of that a lot. I mean, if you're racing on a control pad, then it's different. Not to say it can't be done. Of course it can. But if you've got the whole rig, the steering wheel, then, and you enjoy the sims, sim racing, then manually changing gear is, is going to be so much better. Oh, we need to lap somebody. Okay, you just started the final lap of the race. Final I have. Oop. Woohoo, tires nearly on 40%. Oh, it's Who do we reckon that is at the back? Ah, don't think we're going to catch him. Is it Williams? There it is, our first win. Totally manual gears. Oh, I'm so happy with that. And we were faster. I think we were faster than if I'll be using uh, automatic. That was the biggest gap we had race so far between the, the I think, what was it? Maximum I had was like four seconds to, to the other guys back in our past races. But yeah. Getting, what was I gapping in? 10, 11 seconds? Have a look. Okay, so 13 seconds to max. Wow. That was brilliant. Really happy with that. Excellent. So where'd George come? George came 7th. Uh, quickly just look. Who was that last place? Was it Williams? It, oh, no. Oh, Carson was out. Logan Sargent. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I see we all have Brilliant. Right, let's advance. Uh, next race, I think, is Silverstone, I said. Yeah, there you go. It's right there. So we'll go in again quickly just to uh, make sure. Look at where we're going to be for the next race and then we'll come out and that'll be our next video. Welcome to Silverstone. This ground here is rich with history. A former airfield that served in the Second World War and now hosts one of the oldest and most iconic races in motorsport. It's the Formula One British Grand Prix. All right, where are we on the grids? Oh. Okay, here we go. I oh, okay. I don't know do. what happened. I'm sorry, it's my mistake. But it looks like P7 on the uh, on the steering wheel there. Okay, right. So we'll quit that now. Okay, guys. So that'll do it for this video. Brilliant race. I've really enjoyed that. I'm happy that I'm getting to grips with the gears now and it's not actually affecting performance because the one thing, you know, is a bit disheartening if you're changing gears, but you're not as fast as what you would normally be without changing gears, like, you know, automatic. But yeah, really happy with that. Uh, so yeah, Great Britain next up. So that'll be our next video. We're leading the championship, which is awesome. And yeah, okay, I think that'll do it for this video. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, bye.